Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Priyanka Ahuja and today I will be talking about the adverse effects of chorioamnionitis on the neural development in the offspring. Chorioamnionitis is a common complication of pregnancy with approximately 6 to 10 percent of those with preterm rupture of membranes. It is associated with potentially serious adverse maternal, fetal and neonatal outcomes as well as increased long-term risks of cerebral palsy and other neural developmental disabilities. This is a retrospective population-based cohort study in Sweden where researchers examined the link between chorioamnionitis and neural developmental disorders. In a total of 22,28,280 singleton live births and stillbirths during 12-year period, a total of 4,750 two cases of cerebral palsy, 17,897 cases of epilepsy, 50,570 cases of autism, 1,14,087 cases of attention deficit hypersensitivity disorder and 14,574 cases of intellectual disability. In the study time, 5,770 offsprings were exposed to chorioamnionitis during pregnancy. After adjusting for potential confounders, exposure to chorioamnionitis increased the hazard ratio of of all types of neurodevelopmental disorders except for epilepsy in the offspring. However, this study raises some important issues which should be addressed. The authors concluded that the associations were mainly mediated through preterm delivery and increased risk was also observed among the term infants. Their study lacked some important information. Among 93 cases of cerebral palsy with chorioamnionitis, how many were in those of preterm and term deliveries respectively? Similarly, the question about 4,659 cases of cerebral palsy without chorioamnionitis is the same. They expected that in both chorioamnionitis and non-chorioamnionitis groups, the rate of cerebral palsy in preterm infants would be remarkably higher than that in term infants. Since preterm infants are more likely to develop cerebral palsy and other adverse outcomes including abnormalities in cognition, language development and behaviour. It will also be interesting to know whether the above rates are significantly different between the two groups that is the chorioamnionitis and non-chorioamnionitis. In addition to preterm deliveries, especially extremely preterm deliveries, inflammatory substances induced by fetal infection or inflammation can cause cerebral ischemia and damage ultimately leading to adverse adverse neurodevelopmental consequences. Although efforts for timely identification and appropriate interventions to treat infections during pregnancy might have benefits in reducing the burden of neurological complications in the offspring, at the individual level, the efficacy is unclear as chorioamnionitis can only be cured by the delivery of the infected products of conception. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for further updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.